Iraq's election has brought long-standing rivalries back to the forefront, often with violent results. And that has hardened the country's sectarian divide, as summarized by this man, who lost three of his sons in an attack in September. I'd like to say that neither a Sunni citizen would vote for a Shiite candidate, nor a Shiite would vote for a Sunni candidate. This is reality. Still, the election is proceeding with security forces casting their votes early so they can provide security on election day. It's an important juncture for a country where the United States and Europe lost thousands of troops, ousting dictator Saddam Hussein and installing a democratic system. But now, just over two years after the last foreign troops left the country, Western leaders are focused on the crisis in Ukraine, the future of the NATO alliance, nuclear talks with Iran, and just about anything except domestic politics in Iraq and other Arab countries. I won't say the region is forgotten, but it's clearly not the priority of the European uh, uh, for the moment. Miriam Benrad is a Middle East analyst at the European Council on Foreign Relations in Paris. She spoke via Skype. Europe and its policy are in amidst a very historic crisis that Europe has to uh, very seriously revamp its uh, neighborhood policy uh, if it wants to maintain any credibility uh, that, it's, uh, that it's indeed supporting democratic reform. Ben Rod says to influence Iraqi leaders, Europe should make its policy less bureaucratic and less focused on economic issues, with more direct involvement by senior leaders and more focus on issues of democracy and human rights. The question being, does Europe have the leverage, the capacity of that engagement? And it's not been the case so far. Western leaders have not been able to influence Egypt's swing from authoritarian rule to an Islamist-led government and now back to authoritarian rule, nor Syria's civil war and the apparent improvement of President Bashar al-Assad's position, nor the Palestinian political alliance that appears to have doomed U.S.-backed peace talks. Analysts say frustration and other pressing issues have led Western officials to think more in terms of preventing events in the Middle East from spiraling out of control than about potential opportunities for constructive engagement. Al Pesson, VOA News, London.